Alright, hey guys, it's GSTAR321 here, and today we are playing Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero for the PlayStation. <sighs> I don't even know where to start with this game, okay? When it first came out, it received very, very negative reviews from game websites, which basically said that this game sucked ass. Mortal Kombat fans said that this game sucked ass, and for the most part, I agree with them, okay? This game does suck ass. But look, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being fantastic, 10 being just total dog shit, I'd give this game about 6, 6.5, okay? And that's being generous as well. It's not as awful as they make it out to be, okay? There's something to like in this game for everyone, I believe. It's when the series, you know, the Mortal Kombat series, tried to go into the 2D platform world, okay? So, as you can see here, just by looking at that little demo there, this isn't the traditional Mortal Kombat games that we're used to, you know, where it's just two players duking it out until they kill each other and then do a fatality, okay? This is when the series first tried to go into 2D platforming genre, okay? And unfortunately, it bombed, okay? It sucked. They also made Mortal Kombat Special Forces, which is just one of the worst games I've ever played in my entire life, okay? I will not even play that in terms of doing like a review or a quick playthrough. I'm just not even going near that, okay? Because I'm afraid if I do, I'll just be screaming into the microphone the whole time, okay? Just getting so angry, so I'm not even going to touch that. This one is okay, alright? So they made this one, Special Forces, and much, much later on they, they made Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, which is fucking awesome. I love that game, okay? And I'm 110% going to be doing a walkthrough of that game later on. But we'll focus on this one, okay? Mortal Kombat Mythologies. Like I said, it received very, very negative reviews. I think it's okay, alright? Mortal Kombat fans seem to, you know, the, the hardcore Mortal Kombat fans seem to like this game, okay, because of the story. Personally, I couldn't give a fuck about the story, alright? After Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, the story just went to, to shit for me, okay? I, I totally lost interest. I didn't care what was happening, you know. People kept getting resurrected, you know, souls were being put together and, you know, fucking Ermac was... Wasn't, wasn't Ermac like a combination of all dead souls or some bullshit? Like, you know, it was just getting out of control for me. I prefer stories that are just simple and straight to the point, okay? Probably if I actually focused a bit more, you know, paid attention, I, I could probably enjoy the story of this game a little bit more, alright? I Honestly, I don't even know what's going on, okay? It's something about Quan Chi and P Portals and Shinnok and some other bullshit, okay? I don't know, it just, it sort of lost me, okay? But if you're into that, if you are a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan and you want a bit more of the backstory in regards to Quan Chi, Shinnok, Sub-Zero, whatever, you'll probably really like this game. And I think that's where this game succeeded, okay? Hardcore Mortal Kombat fans really like this game, all right? I don't think I'd consider myself a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan, even though I have played basically every single Mortal Kombat game, okay? With the exception of Game Boy and PSP ones and all that type of stuff. So, you know, I'm, I am I love this series, you know. I'm, I've been playing Mortal Kombat since 1991, when the first one came out in the arcade, okay? Ever since then, I've been fucking hooked. And Mortal Kombat 2, when I first played that, I was sold, okay? I The series won me over with Mortal Kombat 2, okay? And then I just played all the rest of them. And, you know, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, 4 were pretty good. Four, Mortal Kombat 4 was when it first went went into that 3D fighting on a 2D plane, okay? The models were not digitized. They were created out of 3D models. From that point on, I've sort of, you know, I've gone from really having a lot of expectations to, of the series to sort of just plateauing through the rest of them, you know? Obviously, I played them all, you know, like uh, Mortal Kombat 4, Deadly Alliance, Deception, Armageddon, and all those ones, okay? The 3D type of ones. I enjoyed them, okay? Look, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say they were shit. I actually really, really enjoyed them when I bought them and played them. I thought they were great games. But, you know, as I was playing them, I realized that it just it's just not Mortal Kombat, you know what I mean? Mortal Kombat needs to have that digitized animation 
you know, and just keep it on that 2D plane. And that's that's how it was for me, you know. But like I said, look, I still enjoyed all those games. I'll definitely play through all them as well. All right. But yeah, this one, like I said, it's when it first went into the 2D platform genre. And for the most part, it, look, it's enjoyable. I I played it through once, okay, just recently. It's a very short game, and it's hard as fuck, okay? This game is hard as shit. It's just, oh man, I'm going to go crazy playing this game, okay? I, I, I'm already getting angry. I'm just about to, like, punch my sofa chair just thinking about some of the shit that goes on in this game, okay? The pitfalls are just unforgiving and just fucking bullshit, okay? I played it through once. That's it, okay? I'm done. I'm going to play it through one more time just for you guys. But after that, I will probably never ever play this game again, okay? And that's the thing, there's no replay value. Once you play it, there's nothing left to do, okay? You've seen everything, that's it. There's, there's no reason to go back through it again, okay? So, it's, it's short, it's a short game, okay? There's eight levels, and they're all quite short once you know how to get through them. Obviously, what makes the game last longer is the fact that you will constantly die multiple multiple fucking times each level and you will continue over and over and over again okay it's just each level is just a test of your patience trial and error and unforgiving pitfall bullshit okay i'm getting angry i'm fucking oh all right let me go into game settings here all right obviously we've got very easy easy medium hard very hard i'm going to keep it on medium the bear absolute middle okay lives I've pumped it up to six that is the max you can put it on continues for by default it's on I believe three lives and one continues forget it okay don't even don't even try trust me put it up to the max that you can get I believe there's a cheat you can input okay on the password screen here which will give you a thousand lives do that okay don't feel guilty about it because the amount of times I have died playing this game just through trial and error and the ridiculous pitfall bullshit is sickening, okay? That's what burns me about this game, okay? I... The first level is easy, okay? It's just a run through. The second level is what destroyed me, okay? It took me... I'm not joking. It took me days to get past that level because it's just... Oh, man. It's just fucked. And some of the shit that you have... To do is just ridiculous, okay? I'm just, I'm done, okay? I'm done already. We haven't even fucking pressed start yet. Let's just get straight into it, okay? Enough bullshit. Look, to sum it up, Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero. If you're a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan, you'll probably love this game. If not, you'll probably hate it. If you're somewhere in between, like me, okay, who loves the Mortal Kombat games but wouldn't really call themselves a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan, you probably like it. And look, I like it. I play it through once. That's it. Okay, I'm done. So let's go ahead and hit start here. Mission objective, steal the sacred map of elements. Alright. You will fail. <laughs> <laughs> Love that intro, okay? You just somersault into the fucking temple. Scorpion's there and says you will fail. Those words couldn't be more true when playing this game, okay? You are gonna fail and fail and fail at everything. Pitfalls getting fucked up by enemies, trying to figure out what to do and just getting stuck for hours on end and being forced to look up walkthroughs to get through it, okay? This game is going to kick your ass, alright? And you're going to see it all happening here. Now, before we continue, I need to mention the controls, okay? If you've played all the old school Mortal Kombat games 1, 2 and 3, it's all the same. High punch, low punch, high kick, low kick, roundhouse, sweep, uppercut, short punch, little kick, and that one, somersaulting, alright, so there are all the basic moves, 
Now, if you press select, this brings up your inventory. So we've got a couple of herbs, all right? Herbal healer. We'll be given a 50% increase in health when we take it. Potion. Used to increase the potency of the herbal healer. Okay, so you can combine items. So let's just combine this potion with a herb like that and we'll get a healer item okay completely restores restores the health of the user so that's pretty cool and you'll notice in the bottom right there okay experience points zero max points current level 260 250 whatever that says you don't start off with any of your moves okay so if you know sub zero from mk1 and 2 all right down forward low punch will do the freeze at this point we don't have any of his moves okay freeze slide kick nothing as we progress on in the game, kill enemies will gain experience points and once we actually level up, so to speak, we'll be given new moves, okay, which appear there in the bottom right. So freeze, slide, you know, ice decoy, which he had in part 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, stuff like that, okay. <sighs> Alright, let's do it. We've got to steal the sacred map or some bullshit, I don't know what's going on. Now, this is the first enemy in the game. We fight these monks, okay? Well, obviously, we're in the Shaolin Temple in China. One thing I want to point out, though, before taking care of this fucker is that... It, I find it cool that they're all digitized, okay? I love it when Mortal Kombat stayed in that digitized animation. These monks were all motion captured by uh, Anthony Marquez or Tony Marquez, whatever his name is. The guy that played Kung Lao in MK2 and 3, which is fucking awesome, okay? So he plays all these monks in the game. I thought that was pretty cool, alright? Now, if you've watched my other Mortal Kombat videos, okay, where I've played through 1, 2, 3, you know, MK Trilogy, you'll notice how I get incredibly frustrated with the AI. Now, because this is a Mortal Kombat game, I want to show you something, alright? I'm going to round, roundhouse kick this monk. Just watch what he does. I'll do it again. Watch again. Try it again. Alright. Wait till he stops. Try it again. Okay, so the AI is just fucking bullshit in this. What the hell? Where'd this monk come from? There's two. Oh, I'm gonna die. This is fucking ridiculous. It's okay, I'm just explaining shit. Now, one of the most frustrating aspects of this whole game is the fact that. Okay, look, there's a monk to my left there, okay? If I jump over him, you see how Sub-Zero doesn't turn to look to his right? Look. Okay, I'll jump over him again. He doesn't automatically turn, okay, unless you get hit like that. See how he f keeps facing this way, even though there is a monk to the left to fight, okay? In order to face the monk, okay, you have to manually press the L2 button, which actually turns him around, okay? So if I press it, see? You have no idea how frustrating this is in the midst of battle, okay? It is just fucked. You know, you'll jump over a monk and you'll be fa Like, say the monk's to my right. I'll be doing this, you know, and the monk is to my right. And I have to quickly stop and press left trigger to turn and then start... And, you know, by the time I've done all that, the monk's already uppercutted me and wasted fucking a quarter of my health. So that is my most major pet hate with this game, okay? The L2 button in terms of turning him around like this. You can make him do a cool dance if you keep pressing it fast enough, but it doesn't serve much of a purpose anyway. Alright, so let's fuck this guy up, okay? Roundhouse kicks are off limits. The, the most important combo you can do in this game is a six hit combo, okay? High punch, high punch, low punch, low kick, high kick, back high kick. Ah, oh, killed him. Alright, it's a six hit combo. Master that combo, alright? Press L1 to pick up items, so I grabbed the grabbed a herb there. Alright. Okay, now here is our first pitfall, okay? This thing on the roof there that I'm kicking. You get close enough, it'll just fall down like that, okay? It's very difficult to get... You know, you have to be standing on that exact pixel, which makes it come down. It's like that, okay? One inch too closer, you'll get hit and you you get flung back by it, okay? Take note of that because it's just going to get very annoying later on. Alright, i got to just focus here and just fuck this. Get the f... Alright. Item. So there's the 6 hit combo. You can do high kick, high kick, back high kick. 
little three hit combo. Get the fuck out. Alright. Okay. Haven't got my freeze yet. Bit disappointed. Now here, do not just jump off, okay? Jump up. Oh, get the... You <laughs> fuck. Monk tried to slash me with the sword there. Yeah, it's very important that you ju don't just jump over that railing there. Otherwise, you'll fall to your death. Okay, so if you fall from too great a height, you will die. You have to do what I did there. Okay, there's going to be another monk here. Alright, so there you go. Look, that freeze icon has appeared. And if I go here, I now have Ice Blast. Okay, down, forward, low punch. So let's go ahead and use our freeze move. Probably the most important move in the whole game. Okay, he's taken care of. This part is the most frustrating aspect of the entire level, okay? I'm gonna nudge him into that. Fucking take that. Alright, I'm gonna... Oops. I'm gonna use a healer. Completely restore my health. This part is unforgiving, okay? There are two of these things. I'm trying to... Okay. Ah, get off me! Run, run, run. Okay. Ooh, got through there pretty good. That can be really difficult, okay? Get under that thing. Oops. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Fuck off, where are these monks coming from? Get get in that... There we go. If you get stuck in the middle of those two... These two things, okay? See how you get flung back when it hits you? The pro problem is... If it flings you back, you'll get squashed by the other one, okay? The first time I tried this, you have no idea how many times I died. Alright, I must have spent fucking 20 minutes trying to get past that shit alone. Fucking bullshit. Oh god, okay. Fly kicks are basically off limits. You see what it. Mm! God, this fucking AI. God, it wasn't, it wasn't enough that they had to make the games hard enough, you know, the AI in MK1, 2, and 3. They had to make it fucking bullshit in this game as well. So like I said, roundhouse kicks are off limits because they'll just sweep you immediately. Jump kicks, for the most part, are totally off limits because they'll just jump kick you instead. You know, so that's another thing that's sort of disappointing about this game. You have to just kill these monks via a fixed pattern of just the six hit combo bullshit or run in and do the throw or something you know and a lot of the bosses are like that as well you know they just have vulnerabilities that you exploit okay that they're you know they'll be weak to say for example just spamming roundhouse kick over and over and over again okay it's just ridiculous all right so we're going to face scorpion now we'll go in here the map of mine Map is mine, sub -zero. Ooh, alright, I got my slide. Okay, I'll just show you. Slide, block, low punch, low kick, and back together. The same as it was in the MK games, which is awesome. This is all you need to do to defeat him, okay? The six hit combo. Oops, good. What the fuck? Get off me! Okay, now you can fatality him, forward, down, forward, high punch. What the fuck? Oh, whatever. Alright. I, I don't even care. Basically, forward, down, forward, high punch to do that. you got to be in the, the correct location to do it, okay? Oh, fuck. You saw him do that uppercut, okay? Like that. That's what it looks like when he does it, so... Fuck, whatever. He just basically rips Scorpion's head off, okay? By doing that, like it doesn't matter, you don't have to actually finish Scorpion, you know, totally kill him, so to speak, by ripping his head off. If you leave him alive, like I just did then, okay, you'll get a set story path for the rest of the game. If you kill him by ripping his head off, doing the fatality, you'll get a different story path, okay? And you'll have to actually fight Scorpion again later on. So that's the only difference. If you if you do the fatality, you'll just get a different story path, alright? So we'll grab this scroll here. And we can get the fuck out of here. 
This is it. That's that's the end of the level, okay? We're done. So I'm just going to run up this rope now. You couldn't go up this way before, okay? It was closed off, but now that we've got that scroll, it's opened up for us and we can go through. I actually really like the music in this game, okay? That is one of the highlights of this game for me. Probably one of the main things that kept me going, okay? It's fucking awesome. Alright, so you just jump off to the right here. Grandmaster, in honor of the Lin Kuei, I bring you this sacred map of elements. Once again, our most cunning assassin and thief is successful. At ease, Lin Kuei warrior. Greetings! I see the ninja has been successful in retrieving my map. As I have foreseen. Let's get something straight. I am not a ninja. I am Lin Kuei. Scorpion was a ninja. Ah, yes. Your Japanese counterpart. How unfortunate that you happened upon him in your battle with those pesky Shaolin monks. Scorpion was tipped off. He knew I was breaking into that temple, and if he wasn't there, there wouldn't have been a battle. You are responsible for this sorcerer. <laughs> well... I've also retained Scorpion services. In case you failed, I needed some assurance. Your peace of mind almost cost me this mission. Enough! Quan Chi, tell me, what about our payment? Oh yes, I, I almost forgot. The bones of your arch nemesis, and leader of Scorpion's ninja clan. <laughs> Our ancient foes vanquished in one transaction. And I've personally made certain that every last remnant of their clan has been eliminated. Forever. You see, Sub-Zero, you can trust a sorcerer sometimes. Now, you will use this map on your next mission. Quan Chi has once again retained your services. This map you stole. It shows the way to a temple which predates man's recorded history on Earth. For thousands of years, the Temple of Elements has been hidden in what is now known as the Himalayan Mountains of Nepal. This map is the only evidence of its existence. Fine. I get to the temple, and then what? What's inside? A small amulet. Worthless to you, but let's just say it has great sentimental value to me. If it is so precious, why don't you get it yourself? I cannot enter the temple until the four elements within its walls have been defeated. And I am not on the best of terms with the gods of your realm, especially your god of thunder. Tell me about these elements. They are the four elements which comprise the very existence of your realm. They are earth, wind, water, and fire. With your mastery of the element of cold, you have an advantage that no other human has, and that is the ability to defeat the elements. I have foreseen this. So there you go, that's the end of level one. And you'll notice that we get these cool, cheesy FMV... FMV cutscenes, all right? The PlayStation version had them. The N64 version did not. So, obviously, the PlayStation version, I believe, is much better. I, I enjoy those cutscenes, okay? They're, they're cheesy. They're fucking bullshit, but I don't know. I think it adds to the charm of the game, you know? It's just pretty cool. Even though the acting is atrocious. Alright, so we'll leave it there and we'll continue with level 2 in the next video.